there shouldn't be a need for what I do in my mind because growing up, we never thought about it. If you got older, your grandparents or your uncle or whatever, they just came and lived with you. You didn't give it a second thought. You didn't figure it out, oh, they'll stress out the house. You just, it was just automatic and you didn't give it like you were losing because they came to be with you. But now with our lifestyle, two incomes and everything else, it's just not feasible like it used to be before, where someone could just open their home and Uncle Joe or Grandpa, whatever it was, just stayed in the house where you were. Now, people feel more put out by anything that's not what they want to do. So that's what generates a need for some other alternative. We are at a medical foster home in Brighton that is kind of our second home. I'd say what these homes do, which I'm just a small part of, is offer them self-worth. Dwayne's a World War II vet. He was drafted into the service when the war started. They sent him to a Yale photography school and taught him photography. He was an officer for a bomber group of photographers. Any movie you see of World War II that shows the bombs dropping is shots that he made. These stories would never be told if these people were left to be in the confines of a regular nursing facility because no one would ever take the time to find out because no one would be trumpeting their cause to find it out. There's just so many satisfaction things that I just get bits and pieces of in doing this that it just keeps me, it keeps me motivated to keep going.